My name is Alone and welcome to another Zero Zero episode and in my future videos I'm actually going to update you guys on my bank value. It's something that I feel is pretty important now that I am going for a twisted bow and my current bank value is 453 million so we have quite a lot left. As you might see in my inventory, I am actually going to do some Vorkath in the beginning of this video. And now that I do have a bigger budget, kind of, with uh, what gear I can buy, I can have both a Dragon Hunter crossbow and a Lance at the same time. But I will be using the uh, Dragon Hunter crossbow for the Vorkath killing, so let's get into it. Only 3 kills on the first trip, haven't done this in a while, so my kills were a bit clunky there. But uh, Vorkath is a bit more consistent money, but less spiky than Solra. So 3 kills, 371k, of course very good profit there, over like 120k per kill. So uh, we are going to make some money here. You have to admit, that looks pretty smooth. Uh, last kill, 154. 154. 4 kills this time, almost 600k. Even better trip, 634k. Took a few rounds, but 657k, new record for a round so far, or a trip you could say. So let's even get 700k, maybe in the near future. Well, that was a very slow kill for uh, kill number 200. Sometimes that does happen. I mean, the kills are very inconsistent when you do Vorkath. 211 there and 214. 143, 228. I mean, they go up and down all the time. But that is now 50 kills done on Vorkath in this video. And the loot is a total of 6.3 million with uh, an average loot of 126k. Which is pretty much the same that I had on Solra, a bit more I think, and of course I was very lucky at Solra, I got two uniques in, what, like 170 kills? So very nice, and also I think it's actually worth a bit more than that, because the bones are calculated as 9.6k on the counter, but they are actually 10,000, because they just went up in price, so making some nice profits. Kill number 100 completed at 250 KC. I'm probably going to go for 300 and then be done with Vorkath for this video. That is uh, doubling my KC from 150 starting off. And I am getting, by the way, about 120k profit per kill, which is the average of Vorkath. You don't really get more than that because the rares are so extremely rare, 1 in 5,000. So, should expect the same, I guess, for the rest. 150 kill count done, 18.6 mil and of course I used quite a lot of supplies actually, I would say I probably used 2 mil in supplies, so maybe I made like 16 mil roughly, but that is now 300 KC, aka I doubled my KC. I do want to get a decent amount of Corrupted Gauntlet done, so finished my first one at 39 KC right now, first reward is uh, decent. Thanks for comments from you guys in another video. I realized I don't actually have to bank every time the loot that I get, so uh, I'm going to just stack them up in my inventory when I do the Corrupted Gauntlet. Second loot, pretty decent actually. Third loot, fourth kill. 40kz done, that is 10% of the drop rate of the Blade of Seldor by now, so let's get one right now. Unlucky. Oh, Elite Clue Scroll. That is uh, interesting. I wonder what the drop rate for that is. Unfortunately, I did have to clear my inventory of all the Corrupted Gauntlet loot while doing the Clue Scroll. I didn't want to have to bring one mil of loot into the wilderness, but let's see what the clue is going to have. Any unique is a spot in the collection log. I've never gotten a unique from an Elite, so let's see if this is going to be the first one. It is Rune Dragon Mask, 191k, and a Master Clue. Let's see if I can actually complete this, it would be very interesting to see if I could. Uh, by the way, this is like fashionscape on the highest level, look at this, full rune almost. Fake rune you could say. But yeah, let's see if we can complete the master. Oh my god, 5 steps in and I get the tasks to chop a redwood log. That is 90 wood cutting, of course it is boostable if I am 85 with spicy stews, but spicy stews is a bit, uh, well, unpredictable you could say, could take a very long time. And I am right now 79, so I'm probably just going to go for it. It's going to take a very long time. It's a fairly slow skill. It's not the slowest, but uh, I'm probably going to do Teaks in the Karamja area. And uh, it is going to take quite a while, so I'll get back to you guys with some progress. The Master Clue also required a full Lumberjack set and I already had the chest so I now just quickly went and got all the other pieces which is of course also very good for leveling woodcutting. 
So with a rate of about 70 to 75k an hour doing it fairly efficiently. I mean, I'm not too ticking or anything like that because doing that for like 10 hours is not something I want to do. I'm just going to kind of AFK it and at the current experience rate, that is going to be 2 million experience being 25 hours of cutting ticks. So it is going to be quite a grind and that is to 87 by the way. And at that point I can use my special attack on the Dragon Axe because that is just way easier than getting the spices too because I don't actually have a cat currently. And growing a cat and all that for getting the boost and all, I, I might as well just get two extra levels. So that's what I'm going to do and I'll get back to you guys with some updates. Because I'm going to be here for quite a while I will get a lot of nests during the grind. By the way I am 80 now, decently on my way to 81 and I've got a medium and easy if I can click it, and a beginner clue. Of course I get some seeds as well for money, but I'm actually going to, when I get a medium, easy, and beginner, I will go and do them, so I don't have to go every single time I get a clue scroll, because I will lose a lot of woodcutting experience on that. But at the end of the grind, I will open a few caskets that I will have completed during the grind. It has been about 15 hours of AFK woodcutting, and that is 85 woodcutting, so technically now I could go and get spices to use, but I don't actually have a cat to do it because, uh, well, my cat died last time. I was trying to fight the uh, devil uh, rat or whatever and I forgot food and he died. So I don't really feel like getting a new cat. So I'm just going to go for 87 as I said earlier. I do have a couple of clue scrolls. I got a Celastrus seed not too long ago that is worth 70k. So got some nice seed drops in general from a lot of bird nests that I've collected. But my total experience I have done is 1.35 million. So I have still like 700,000 experience left to go. So it is probably like 8 hours of doing woodcutting or 10 hours or something like that. But uh, it is not too bad. I'll just get it done and when then after that, when I am 87, I have quite a decent amount of clue scrolls to open. I actually recorded myself getting the redwood log, but uh, I had the wrong screen recorded, so unfortunately I can't show that, but it was the last step of the master clue, and I want to open this casket along with all the other ones that I have in the bank, so let's go and do that. This is all the caskets that I accumulated during woodcutting, 6 beginners, 6 easy, 6 medium, 3 hard, and then 1 master that I completed after the 28 hour woodcutting grind. So let's start with the beginner ones, open them real quick. 1.3k for the first one, 900 GP. 1.7k, as always, very impressive reward from the beginners, 1.8k. 85 GP, 5 shrimps, that is uh, amazing. 52, wait, that's actually worse, oak longbow. Yeah, I'm not keeping any of this, that is completely useless loot, it's like overall 7k. But now we get into the more interesting loot, the easy ones. They can actually be worth quite a lot because of the pages you can get. So uh, let's open these. First one, 112k. As you can see, quite a difference already. 4.5k, that is not great. 4.9k, 3.8k, 500 GP, really? That is insane. 6k, another master. We will try to do that after this one. But if, if there's a huge challenge again, then I can't do that in this video. Had to uh, clear my inventory, dropped uh, most of the very useless items on the ground and kept the good ones. And let's get into the mediums. Here is the chance of getting ranger boots. The really big item, so uh, this is going to be interesting. First one, 8.9k, so far this is not great. 6 6k, what are these rewards? These are terrible. 200k from probably Narda Teleport, so that's not too bad. 10k, oh my goodness, 53k. And last one, 8.9k. Wow, these are really terrible. Now, at least I don't think the hard clue scrolls can be as bad as these are, so uh, let's get opening these three hard clues. First one, 178k, way better for sure. 73k, and the last one is 56k. Now, I have enough inventory for the master, so I'm going to open that now. And uh, let's hope that the 28-hour woodcutting grind was worth it. At least, I mean, I got quite a lot of total levels. I went over, well, actually, I was probably over 1900 total even uh, before, but uh, yeah, let's see what the master is going to give us. Please be good. Oh, Mimic! That's actually so nice. Let's do it. 
that is now KC number two on the Mimic. And actually in my last video I got my first kill. So that is very close back to back uh, Mimic kills. So let's see what the reward is going to be for this Mimic. Very interesting always. Hopefully something good. And it is just grimy, grimy Rainars. That is very unlucky. That is a 500k master. I got some onyx bolts, so I guess that's a lot of the money. But uh, hey, you can't complain. I progressed my account, so I'm pretty happy with it anyways. Unfortunately, on step number 4 on the other master clue, I have to craft a blood rune, and that is 77 rune crafting. If I want to get to that, that is going to be a month for the next video. So unfortunately, that is going to the ground. My bank value right now is 479 mil. We started the video with 453 million, so we've only made 26 million. But uh, due to a lot of the time going into the woodcutting grind, that is to be expected. Unfortunately, it didn't end up being a lot of the corrupted gauntlet in this video due to that elite clue leading to a master, the master grind and all that. But I'm pretty happy about the progress I made anyways, especially with the woodcutting. But I'm actually going to end the video here. Before I end it though, I want to say that I do have a Discord if you want to join that. The link to that will always be at the top of the description. Also, if you want to watch more of my content, click any of the videos on the screen right now or the playlist to the series. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when I post new videos. Until next time, have a good one, take care.